Welcome, Taurus. This is going to be your November reading. Hope everybody is doing well. We're going to go ahead and jump right in and see what's coming through for you guys. Oh, I love that. We have the Queen of Rings and the Will of Fortune. Change is coming, you guys. With the Will of Fortune, it's all about destiny, faith, positive turning points after some setbacks. Oh, my goodness. Look how beautiful this is. You're reading. Oh, my gosh. Okay. You have the hermit. This is about soul searching. You're, become, you're very wise, Taurus. With the sun energy, there's a lot of positivity and abundance coming your way. I feel like it stems from this king of rings energy, the energy that you're embodying at this time. You could be more focused on material things at this time or long-term stability, determined, focused about your personal growth, as I see here with the hermit. And that is what's bringing change, a lot of positivity into your life. We also have the devil. <clears throat> okay. With the spirit of cups. Let's get more into it because the devil is a major arcana. So there may be something here that looks in the shadows. Is that how you say it? <laughs> All right. We have four of cups, seven of cups, knight of wands, three of swords. We have judgment coming in. Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, Temperance. There is definitely an awakening here for sure. I feel like things are weighing very heavy. I feel there's a lot of uh, perseverance too with this Knight of uh, Wands card. Feeling like, you know, you're always pushing, you're always moving for some. But the Knight of Wands is basically saying, keep going, don't give up. Um, but you have the strength and inner will within you but don't forget to rest either okay whatever this may be for you guys the challenge is coming up as a knight of wands the knight of wands energy is the challenge there's a sense of inconsistency here with someone you could be dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius we do have the three of swords energy where i feel like somebody is wanting to there's like peace coming in because of this three of swords there's more calm after the storm i feel with the four of cups you are choosing yourself. You're choosing happiness because there's something here that's very unfulfilling. It could be this devil-like energy or unhealthy attachments are struggling with certain things here. Um, this could be a connection. This could be somebody that you're dealing with, why the shadow is here, which does represent more of the devil-like energy, um, card number 15, right? So this is more, this could be your shadow self or this could be restricting yourself. And now if this is somebody around you, which I do kind of feel this is somebody around you who may be self-sabotaging or, you know, that something about short-term happiness, but there may be some negativity surrounding your energy. And it's, and I feel like you're very wise when it comes to this, you're very protected here, Taurus. So regardless if there's setbacks or confusion or anything, I feel like you are very clear minded. And I feel like you are, again, soul searching and a lot of positivity and you know what choice to make if you are making any choices at this time or decisions because you it's just, it's just saying that you already have the answers within with that hermit. Trusting your wisdom, trusting your judgment. Now, someone here is, I feel, thinking of you with that judgment card. There is a sense of wanting a second chance because there is still emotions present with this person. In the near future, we do have the Nine of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So we do have an emotional offer, somebody wanting to come in. And I feel it's to mend this uh, connection, this, this breakup. But I already feel like something's already weighing heavy on you. But this is all about moving forward, letting go of the old, the old patterns, you know, the old ways of thinking and now moving, uh, moving into more calmer waters here. All right. So. Let's see, because there is something I do see with this devil that could be causing you to, you know, want change. And that's what I feel is happening for you. Let's get right into the seven of cups energy. Queen of cups. Someone is still holding on very tightly. Um, I feel that you may... They may be feeling like you're un, unsatisfied with them some, because something's weighing very heavy on your end. It could be this person's behavior or inconsistent energies in general, just people that are coming off a bit unstable or making poor decisions, right? 
Um, I feel like you're, whoever this may be, I feel like they are still holding on to you. And I do feel like they're very emotional when it comes to you here. Um, but I feel for you, there's a sense of like a needing, it feels like things are just too heavy due to the inconsistency of energies. Yeah, there's that four of cups once again, kind of over it, kind of over maybe manifesting other things at this time. Um, just a lot of delays within uh, this connection or the situation. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming into the reading. Now this energy, whoever this may be, it doesn't have to be that air sign. Remember, the King of Swords, when it's reversed, this is someone, again, I don't, this is a very calculated energy, okay? This is someone who goes in and out with that Nine of Swords. They don't care about the consequences. They, this is an energy that will, you know, the Nine of Swords, oh, I'll deal with it later, however. So I do see that there is a lot of inconsistency, a lot of things here where it's impulsive. And with the King of Swords energy, this person doesn't want to take responsibility of what happened in the past, it feels like here, Taurus. But I do see that they're still very much emotional um, over you here. There is a lot of lack of promises, a lot of uh, lack coming from this energy. So I do see that this person is very cold. We do have the chariot and the high priestess and the tower. I feel like somebody here is resisting a lot of change and it's hard to let go if they say it or not. I feel that they're seeing they wanting a second chance, but I feel like a lot of you guys, just by how your cards are looking, I feel that they're seeing you change. They're seeing you going in a different direction. They're seeing you um, you know, very wise energy, even though they probably don't want to admit it, uh, but you're going straight for the sun. And it, it, it feels like this person is missing out, is feeling emotional about this. Um, I don't know if they thought you were going to come back or however, but with this tower, it does show that they are having a tower moment. This person is definitely having this time in their life where things feel like they're falling apart um and i feel like they are very emotional uh towards you and towards what's going on in their life and that's what makes me think that they want to come back but at the same time you're you're already moving in another direction so it's like the devil wants to creep back it's what creep its way in in a way you know this type of energy and it's active the shadow is active um, and then we have the star and the nine of wands. So in the near future, we do have a star. There's some type of renewal coming in, somebody wanting to talk, emotional offer. There's emotions involved in the near future from what it's looking like, but it looks for you that you're suspicious. You still have your guard up with this energy. And I feel that you're still going to continue to focus on your goals because you're going to see a lot of change for November especially if you're working towards something, um, you're going to get that inspiration again. You're going to get that uh, feeling of positivity if you're feeling down at this time. But there is something here where I feel there's a lot of healing here with the star. And again, the star is about having hope and faith, but there's also a sense of peace in the making peace or a sense of peace about the situation um, in the near future. But you still have your guard up and I feel that you're not giving in too much of your emotions at this time. Yeah, this ends up being a missed opportunity for this person because it's unstable. I feel like you've already seen it all play out, whoever this may be. Um, but wh whoever this is, they seem to be impulsive. Uh, they seem to be going through a lot in their life. And But I feel that it's when it comes to the situation or it comes to this, it feels very heavy for you. Okay. It feels very uh, unfulfilling. And um, just, I just don't really, I see like change coming in for you, all this beautiful energy that you're going towards or that you're in. And then this devil wants to be like, hi. And I don't, you know, see you really engaging so much, but there is a sense of peace that comes with this situation as change comes in, okay? So I do see that this person is looking at you as the missed opportunity um, in the end, but there is, does come with peace 
on uh, within the situation from what I'm seeing here. Okay. Either that's with this person um, or are you just in peace with the situation now? Let's go ahead and grab some um, messages. New chapter. I'm trying to move on. Reveal. I want to tell you the truth. Reminiscing. See, it does look like this person is reminiscing about you a lot and they do want to fix things uh, between you, but there's still a sense of disagreement. I wish you understood how I feel. Um, so there is still some things here that to be aware of with this person, which I already feel that you are. And there is a sense of healing, but in the outcome from what I'm seeing is like, you're making peace with it. You're moving forward, but it feels like it's still unstable due to whatever is going on with this shadow unhealthy here, right? Or the struggle here. So let's get a message from spirit here, you guys. Forget safety. Live where you fear to live. Take a chance. Dare to dream. Risk pays off. Try something different. Surrender. Don't push so hard. Let grace carry you. When you start to walk, the way appears. Taking steps, beginning again, creating the life you truly want. Taurus, I really feel that's what's happening for you up here. Okay, there are going to be, when you're like moving forward or you're accomplishing goals in your life, um, and I feel that's like this energy kind of tries to block that, right? Or tries to interfere. I feel like you're so wise and you've done so much soul searching and you're at just this, this higher level of um, consciousness, you know, I feel like you're going to see this through a mile away. Because you're literally on the path to success, on the path of abundance and um, positivity. And you have you have the the knowledge to uh, help others or, you know, you have the knowledge to you've been through so much. Um, you, you it's like more of a teacher like so it's just showing that you're just a, have a lot of wisdom um, in this in your from your situations or from what you've gone through in life. And it's showing here and it's something's bringing positive change due to your energy, due to your uh, determination, your focus, your discipline, um, the responsibilities that you have. Okay. Wow. All right. So your message here is, oh, we have a secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are, um, than they are letting on. And then deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it helped and brought clarity to you. And if it did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. God bless.